It's a great day, and I'm glad that you are here to join the DLD Motivational Moment. I am your motivational guru, Donald L. Dowrich Jr. I'd like to come into your world today and talk to you about today's topic, which is character is not developed in ease. I'll say that again. Character is not developed in ease. So, in other words, it takes time to develop our character. You might be familiar with a young lady by the name of Helen Keller. Well, Helen Keller, as you know, she was blind. She had no vision, though they thought she had no vision. But she could see. Yes, it's true. She did not have vision, but she could see. Somebody else comes to mind, Stevie Wonder. He has no vision, but he can see. Are y'all with me? We're talking about character. Though not seeing, she furthered to build on her character. So at that point, the question is, how are you building on your character? What signifies you as a person? You know, as a person as a whole. When you go out to meet and greet people, when you're at work, what people may say about you, all that adds into your character. So anyway, getting back to Miss Keller, in her lifetime, she saw more than, and that's T-H-E-N, past tense, than what we are seeing today. And I say that because of the fact that what she did, the many things she did in her life, and oh, 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 the many things that she allowed herself to do in her life. So let me put it like this. Though she was blind, there was no self-pity parties. Yeah, why me? Why is this happening to me? And it's amazing that in our life we live today, so many of us, yeah, we're progressing. Yes, we're moving forward. But we have a certain amount of us who will complain in a second. And if we're not complaining, we're looking for someone to throw fault. Or if we're not looking for someone to throw fault, we're trying to invite people over to our crib, to our house, to our home, to our domain, to join in the self-pity party. So, and I'm only talking first-hand knowledge here. I mean, no disrespect to Miss Helen Keller, but I know first-hand about those self-pity parties. Maybe somebody out there, maybe you might know as well about those self-pity parties. Why me? So, getting back to this uh, subject matter of character is not developed at ease. So as I was saying, all right, she saw more than, T-H-E-N, than we see, unfortunately, in our life today. And we got all the technology. She elaborated, only through experience of trial, Again, only through experience of trial and suffering. How many of you all have suffered? Now, see, that's, a, that's another good topic because if you're a business owner, whoo, I know you suffered. I know you suffered because you wanted to get that business up off the ground and you wanted it running. And, and guess what? Everything, it seemed like everything but everything came in your way as that what? Business owner. So I know you're suffering. A parent, I know you're suffering. All right? There's a lot of things in life that we suffer through. But watch this. Only through the experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened. The soul be strengthened. We got to go through those trials and we got to go through those tribulations for our souls to be strengthened for our heart to be strengthened, for our mind to be strengthened, for that next journey that we're going to go through. No doubt, we're going to go through it. Don't think you're going to get through it with ease. Ambition inspired and success you will achieve. Again, ambition. Do you have ambition to move forward 
and all your suffering or are you about to call it quits and throw in the towel because it was not easy? I hope not. I hope not. I swear not. And I'm going to go on record and say, I know not. With those words spoken, the question, the only question is, what's your character like? Are you a person others like or are you a person that others despise? In any case, in the N words, in any case, character is not developed and eased. So just keep that in mind as you continue to build your character and build who you are and look in the mirror and love who you are. Because guess what? God made you special and you are special. And I got to tell you, it's hot up under these lights. But guess what? The lights come bright. We're going to be all right day and night. That's my wrap for the day. So this has been the DLD Motivational Moment. And yes, I am Donald L. Dowrich Jr., your motivational guru. Pre-order my new book that's about to hit any time now. Tick tock, tick tock. Motivational Moments. You can order that book, of course, at DLD. 28 2002 at yahoo.com or you can dial direct and someone will be happy to take your call at 813-394-5875 you can also follow DLD at you know Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn YouTube and of course our website www.dldenterprises Org. Until we meet again, I'm throwing the papers to the side, I'm clapping my hand, I'm wiping off this sweat. It's a beautiful thing to be a human because when you're human, <laughs> you never know, right? You never know. So until the next time, I love you. And for all of you all that have been supporting me and DLD over the years, a special love to you. And just, just thank you, all right, for... Helping me be a better person, better man in this thing called life. And being able to reach out and touch as many lives as God has allowed me to touch. I love you all and hey, you'll see me again. So stay tuned, don't go away. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Thank you.